Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, if you guys could just let me know if I'm clear, if you're able to hear me clearly, then I can start right away. So, uh, is the audio clear so that I can start off? All right, Aditya, how are you? Is the audio clear, Aditya? If you can let me know if it's clear, then I'll start it off right now. I just want to make sure that everything's. All right, thank you. Thank you guys for uh, holding on. I'm really sorry there's something wrong with my setup. So again, I'm going to start. Attention to all doctors in my list. Please, it will be great if you could clarify the below in detail. It will be useful. This was uh, seen on my Facebook page posted by a very good friend of mine. Mohammed Zahir Naina and I just realized through the day that many of you have been asking these questions and so I, I decided that I will try to explain these questions to the best of my abilities. So um, it starts like this. If I get vaccinated and after that there are a set of questions, 14 to be exact. So, so the first one is if I get vaccinated, can I stop wearing the mask? Now, this is a flawed question. A flawed question will get a flawed answer. The question has to be, if we get vaccinated, can we stop wearing the mask? So you have to think of vaccinations being effective in a group. So if you're a family of 15, even with older people and younger children, if 80% of you are vaccinated, then you can stop wearing masks. This is how you look at vaccinations, not if you as a single person, but if your unit, the family you interact with regularly, they have to be included in the whole thing. Now, question number two, can they reopen restaurants, etc.? And can everyone work normally? Guys, I just have to remind you that even before the COVID-19 came, we have a lot of severe, easily spreading respiratory uh, infections, gastrointestinal infections like cholera. We are protected from all those because of vaccinations, even though we live in such a polluted and such a populated world. So if the vaccination is, is effective, yes, like other vaccines, protect us against other diseases. The COVID vaccine, if, eff if effective, will protect us and we will be able to restart everything again normally. Then, will I be resistant to the COVID is the third question. The answer here is maybe, but we don't know exactly. It probably won't stop you getting it. <laughs> Half truth. The answer is once you finish your second dose, you have to wait for four to six weeks. And after that, you have to do a blood test in order to assess your antibodies. If your antibodies are above a certain level, guys, you are immune. You are resistant. You cannot even spread the virus to anybody. That's how vaccinations work. So if 60% of a population are vaccinated or immune, they cannot even spread the virus to those who are uh, susceptible. Okay, that's how the concept of herd immunity works. So the next question, number four, at least I won't be contagious to others anymore. The answer here is no, you can still pass it on. Possibly nobody knows. Again, half truth. The answer is after six weeks, do an antibody test. If your antibodies are good, you are immune, you will not pass it on to anybody. Then five, if we vaccinate all children, will school resume normally? The answer here is no, but please use some common sense, you know, like measles. Once we vaccinate, even though measles is six or seven times more infectious than the COVID-19, vaccinations protect our children against infectious diseases like measles, polio, just to mention a few. So, of course, and actually, you don't have to vaccinate 100%. If, if you vaccinate 70% of, of the children, school can resume more or less normally. 
then if i am vaccinated can i stop social distancing again guys this is a flawed question if we as a unit are vaccinated can we stop social distancing yes if you're a working unit of 100 people and all of you are vaccinated you guys and you have antibodies and you've all checked it you guys can stop social distancing if i'm vaccinated can i stop disinfecting my hands uh, yes for covid 19 probably but still guys we live in india this question always makes me laugh so let's just wash our hands whatever it is if if we touch something outside so that we protect ourselves from other infections primarily then if i vaccinate myself and my grandfather can we hug each other now this is a very interesting question um, at this point of time i would also like to bring up a piece of information which i have which is uh, about um, a vaccine result in europe that is in norway where uh, candidates of the vaccine who were above 80 years of age and who had a lot of other comorbidities had severe adverse effects to the vaccine to the pfizer vaccine i think and uh, Analysis is going on, studies are going on, research is also going on to identify what is happening. So this question uh, requires some amount of time. So if you are going to get vaccinated along with your grandparents, what I, I suggest is uh, you make sure you talk to your family doctor about it and make sure that he okays the vaccination, you know, because uh, from what I have understood, if your muscle mass, fat mass, your diet intake, your functional and your bone mass is also good, that the, the vaccination is not affecting you, okay? Or it's not creating any adverse effects. But if you're somebody who's aged and you're frail or weak, low body mass, sick, asthma, a lot of other diseases, from what I read in the newspaper article about this uh, group you know it said that only those who are frail weak other diseases were affected so that is the thing so what you do is once you and your grandparent are vaccinated wait for six weeks do the antibody test it is a blood test once you do the antibody test and you see that the antibodies are good then of course you can meet you can hug you can eat you will not get infected you have to check your antibodies though then finally uh, sorry not finally question number nine will cinemas theaters and stadiums be reopened thanks to the vaccines the answer here is no but guys again let me bring you back to the fact that there are a lot of infectious diseases amongst us and we were able to do all this stuff before the covid 19 because we were vaccinated from those diseases so if the covid 19 vaccine works then we will be able to restart all that it is just common sense then will the vaccinated be able to gather again in a group if you know that your unit is vaccinated of course you will be able to gather now what is the real benefit of the vaccine this is a question which i really want to answer so here it just says this this virus will not kill you okay so i'm just going to appeal to all your intelligence okay tell me do you think that this is going to be the last infection which suddenly crops up in the world do any of you think so no we are paying a price for how we have treated the world till now you know we have put in fumes we have put in pollutants and this is causing cells which are existent to mutate what we have done to the world is causing viruses which were there on their own to to mutate and they in the process of their survival they are infecting us in process because we need they need us in order to live so infections are going to happen i want to find out if this new mrna technology is going to work on me definitely i would like to know and that is one of the reasons i would get vaccinated because there might be another gastrointestinal infection in three years time so i would like to know if this new mrna technology works for my body because it might not work for a subset of people then we will have to find an alternative of a live vaccine or an attenuated vaccine and that is my why of why i would take the mrna vaccine to see if 
my body accepts it because if it does a lot of our troubles are taken care of if it doesn't we need need to figure it out and here you can actually do the antibody test and identify for how long this mrna vaccine is giving you the immunity so that is the real benefit to identify if you stand a chance in the future future infections with this technology are you sure it won't kill me the answer is no my answer is also no but i am also not sure if an injection of paracetamol will not you know because anything can cause an adverse reaction and anything can kill you question number 13 if statistically the virus didn't kill me anyway why would i get vaccinated this virus didn't kill you the next one we do not know so if you want to know that is if this mrna technology is going to help you the next time then maybe that's a good reason to get vaccinated for me it is a good reason to get vaccinated so if i get vaccinated the others are 100% sure i am not infecting them now again this is a flawed question so if i get vaccinated the statement is how if i get vaccinated depending on my vaccine the others are 50% sure or 60% sure or 90% sure which is the maximum efficacy that i am not infecting them nobody can be 100% sure of anything in this world because we are dynamic creatures and there are too many variables that's why probability rules so and after that there are a lot of so the shot does not give you immunity does not eliminate does not prevent that there is a lot of negative not 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 but i think you guys have enough information now already to uh to understand what's happening with the vaccine all right and uh, thank you once again guys sorry about the first telecast i hope the the second one was clear enough um and uh, thank you sanjeev for the message thank you very much and also thank you for letting me know that it didn't work the first time and also mohammed zahir naina thank you very much for posting the questions i hope i answered your questions all right bye bye guys again the vaccination remember this is an infinite game this is not the last vaccination for which we are going to be thinking so much so get your information right get your science right this is the time to figure it out absolutely all right guys bye bye thank you so much for joining in see you dr santosh jacob bye bye